Hey, good day traders. Uh, welcome to the market review poll for market wise by market wise traders. I right, just come to the website here, marketwisetraders.com forward slash market review poll and come and vote here and uh, just select your two pairs that you want reviewed, right? The percentages here because there's already been a vote cast on this part. So you just come and vote. So the top two I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, review right now and let's see that will be UC 8% and GU 8% okay so those are the two that I'm going to review right here right now okay so let's just have a look at that um, that is UC and I want GU okay so let's just start off with GU these are previous markings this is a previous marking which I had on here the screen line which I normally like to use to mark a peak formation high uh, I'm talking according to market uh, maker. That was an old peak formation high, which I had marked. I no longer need this here. Uh, what I do see is this was from here going up. I believe this was a complete cycle. Complete market maker cycle of about 300 pips here, somewhere there. So over here, uh, at that point in time, that was my peak formation high. I would, have continue, I would have expected a drop from this point. But as you can see, when the dealer came back down this region, he then created a reset because he broke that high. So that means I'm now bullish, right? I'm now bullish on pound. Okay. I'm now bullish on pound from that point. And if you can look this past, is it one, two weeks, almost three weeks? If you can just see there, you can see here uh, that... Um, this price has just been moving up and down just in a range. If you just have a look at that, it's just more or less, it's just a range, it's just a channel here, there and there, okay? So nothing much has been happening, but because I'm not seeing, I'm seeing rejections, one, two, and even here, three. And I have this 800 EMA, which is the four hour, uh trend showing me the four hour trend so you can see how price quickly ran away from here that's another indication for me of the bullish momentum of pound so myself i'll still have a bullish sentiment on pound because of those things i've just mentioned to you it's been holding here this whole time but i'm still bullish i'll expect uh any anything anywhere in this low region it comes even up to the 800 I can take a buy 146 that'll be far actually i'll be actually thinking anywhere in this uh, region here of 141.20 and even up to 141.10 anywhere there 141.10 141.20 if i get a nice m15 setup and a nice tdi confirmation in here on my tdi i'll be wanting to see a bounce around uh, just the market baseline level so if i get a pattern like that taking it for a buy okay so that is pound i'll be bullish at those point as i said to you just that that region even there 140 uh, 10 up to somewhere there which is about 140 20 okay so just wait for that nice uh, m15 pattern uh, to give you for the entry and then take it and then as for you see this one we know it has been falling for a while cat has been showing strength for some for some time uh, this, uh, if you look at our past reviews, I mentioned it and we saw it. And that was the peak. That was one level down. That was your second level down. That was your third level down. This was a reset. He came down another level, came down a second level, and this was the last level. So that was two H1 cycles. That's the first H1 cycle. That's the second H1 cycle. And as you can see, just like with pound, we see this consolidation here. It's just been holding this range. Price has been holding this range, but from what I see is this is forming uh, H4 peak. You can see these EMAs are so spread out, meaning this bearish, it has been bearish for quite some time. So the probability that we're looking for here is we are looking to be bullish on dollar CAD, okay? So that's what we're looking for here. And even at the region where it is, the place where it is right there, but of course you cannot just enter, okay? You cannot just enter for a buy. But uh, just 121.80, yes, somewhere there, even as low as up to uh, 120.50, it can reach. But 
anyway, anyway in this region is a buy. 120, 50, 120, 80, anyway in this region is a buy. But wait for a nice M15 pattern. Um, even here, your nice confirmation on H1 will be on your TDI will be this price line when now you should already be in, but once it crosses that market, uh, that market baseline, you should be already in for buy. So look for a buy on dollar cad, and I'll also say look for buy on GU, although it might drop, but uh, GU, but I'm more bullish. So look for those two, and um, this is the market review for this time. Um, hopefully next week I'll have something on calls, volatilities, binary indices, and um, if people vote for, for the other indices, I'll do them as well, S&P and all that kind of thing. But anyway, um, that's it for today. Happy trading. Guys.